Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel and welcome to Merlin series two. Uh, this episode is called The Curse of Cornelius Seagun, Seigen, and I can see Mackenzie Crook is in it, which is very exciting. I do kind of think that going forward, there may be some more, a lot more actors that I recognise, just because assuming series one was a success. So I'm, yeah, I'm really excited to see what happens. I'm excited to see if there are any additional uh, long-term characters. That's what I'm trying to say. And if I think that any of the cast look different, I don't know why I have something about that. I think it's from watching Stranger Things and just kind of spotting how different the cast look. It's just, it's just, I find it quite enjoyable. Yeah, I don't know. I feel like maybe we could push it a bit darker. I feel like this series, we're probably going to be more at risk of losing, sorry, I've got such an itchy nose, more at risk of losing people. I, I mean, I said it in the last series, didn't I? But mm, how many episodes are there in this season? Oh, 13 again. Fine. Right. Let's go. If you want the extended version, it's over on the $1 tier on my Patreon because uh, YouTube really enjoyed blocking my videos. And I'm still working on getting all of those back out. So apologies for that. Let's go. Pretty, pretty epic too. Um, uh, I'd have to look into it, sir. How interesting. So I didn't see any of this before. But that's what you say. Well, I never. A uh, bright lad like you knows what that sort of information's worth. Well, we don't want everyone to see. Believe me, this place is full of thieves and fingersmiths. Put it inside your tunic. Far into the bar. See him? He keeps on watching you. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. With, 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 with the beard. Mm -hmm. That one. Oh, I got my eye on him. Thank you. So who's got the keys? That's quite clever, to be fair. The owner. <laughs> Anything else I can do for you, sir? Give Merlin here a kick at the backside. <laughs> I won't wish to deprive you of the pleasure, sir. one thing I failed to do uh, muck out your horses <laughs> sorry yeah but as if Merlin would fall asleep in a Nothing. pile of poo I can see that I think it's really obvious what's like that Cedric is up to something. 
And I think Arthur falls for things Nothing. too quickly. Like he sees all he sees the good in people. I'll be right outside in the ante room should you need me. That'll be all, Cedric. and take the soul isn't he so before he was just a normal thief Has Arthur not thought? Where's Cedric? I'm leaving them to die. It's suicide. It's my duty to Camelot and to myself. Very well. But you must give me something in return. What? A promise. A promise. That one day you will free me. That doesn't matter. But it must hurt so much to be so put upon, so overlooked, when all the while you have such power. That's the way it has to be. Does it? You're young, Merlin. Look inside yourself. You have yet to discover your true power. I can help you. What happened there? Does this mean you're admitting that in this occasion I was actually right? <laughs> Not exactly, no. It means that I have a knighthood to bestow first thing tomorrow. And no one to clean my armour. All that? Yep. Well, I said I wanted it to be darker and it definitely was. Uh, I I love Mackenzie Crook. I think he's great. I don't know how I feel about watching him as Wurzel Gummidge yet, but I really like Mackenzie Crook. That was that was lovely. It kind of reminded me of like the battle at Hogwarts, that end bit. Um, 
So Merlin has promised the dragon that he will free him at some point. And I do think that's going to round up to some sort of battle. I think something along the lines of the dragon has to try and kill Arthur. Something like that's going to happen. Gaius is my favourite character. I love him so much. He's a really... I mean, number one, I love the actor, but number two, just some of the lines that he comes out with, he's the way he treats Merlin like his son, the way he's so respected at Camelot. There's also potentially something between Gwen and Arthur. I mentioned it last time, but they've hinted at it already. But it was really hinted that Merlin and Gwen would get together. So I don't really know what's going to happen there because obviously we've got Morgana as well. She's still having her nightmares. I really, really liked it. I didn't watch the preview to next week. I don't generally like watching what's going to happen next week. I like to just go in blind. Also, Uther is even more on top of sorcery now because he just thinks that all sorcery is evil. So that's probably going to be another massive issue. Yeah, I really, I thought that was a great opener to series two. Let me know your thoughts and I shall see you next week for episode two.